mayong gabi eh. mga kaibigan welcome to my channel and this is Captain Bong's adventure Halloween special <laughs> oh roll intro We are one of those people na daghan kayo o mga storya about mga diingo nato, mga tawan na balay, gikan sa agta, gikan sa duwende, o sa mga uban pa. Who would expect there are also stories that you can hear when you come to America? For this Halloween special, for you viewers out there, me and my brother had decided to go to one of the most haunted places here in Chicago, Illinois, and that would be the Congress Hotel. So sit back, relax, and be scared, because now we are going to take you guys inside, not just the hotel itself, but the rumored room 441. Come on guys, let's go. karon sa downtown padung sa amo hotel Is it possible for us to get room 441? Is it is it available? It is. it is. Yeah, can we get that one? Yeah. No, Alright. So we actually got room 441. <laughs> and this is gonna be something else, guys. Guys, so this is room 441. The room is. I mean, it 
that's not really bad. Congress Plaza Hotel, Chicago, Illinois, also known as a landmark of hospitality, has been there for travelers and businessmen for centuries. It has also been known not only for their good services, but also for the classic ghost huntings that occurs occasionally. It was reported that a lot of unexplained paranormal activities were noticed coming from the ballroom of the hotel, the hotel's hallways, and the famous gangster Al Capone who until now made this hotel his home. Famous ghost appearances has been reported by guests and staffs alike. One of them is Al Capone Another is Peg Leg Johnny, who was said to be a hobo who walks around the hotel. Another is the mother and child. And the last is the shadow woman inside room 441, who has the best reputation in waking up guests by kicking their beds. And she's the reason why me and my brother are here right now. So we are going to the 12th floor where they said that there's a lot of rooms which are supposed to be locked. There's <coughs> uh, hunting's I guess. So. We are gonna check this out. Twelfth floor. following us I mean it can be the elevator but we don't know we heard something like an open door
<coughs> so right now it's two fifty four. Um, we decided to just turn on the lights just because of the sake of <coughs> my documentation over there. I'm gonna turn off the lights then we can't see anything um, but we tried like just trying to listen on like what's going on inside the room probably at three where they say like usually stuff is happening I mean right now we're still here like banging noise outside Hello again, viewers. Did you guys enjoy my Halloween special? If you did, thank you. If you're scared, thank you. Spirits, ghosts, or any paranormal activities, 
it really depends on what you hear or what people tell you about some stories. Me and my brother, when we went there to the hotel, we were expecting more. We were expecting a little bit more of what we experienced. I mean, we saw, we hear something, we saw something, but it wasn't enough for us just because of the stories that we hear, the stuff that we thought that might happen, but none of those actually ever did. But I am not saying that any of those stories that you read about or you heard about the hotel are not true. It actually depends on how you think about it. Paranormal events always depend on how people say it or how people want you to believe it. But under my opinion, it always depends on you. It depends on what you believe in. It depends on how you think about it. It depends on what kind of facts you have. And my vlog viewers, I wanna say, when I went there with my brother, I realized that it wasn't about proving whether the stories were true. The thing for me that was really important was the thrill and the adventure of just going there in the hotel and trying to experience what other people experience. We might not have the same experiences, but at least I had a thrill of being scared, of being curious about what's gonna happen to us during that time. In the end, I wanna say I was satisfied of what we did. We might not have proved anything, but just being there feeling what other people might have felt when they were staying there was enough for me so after this video guys i will release a raw video just to let you guys see what's going on with my camera inside the room without us so if you guys enjoyed my video please hit like and subscribe this is captain pong and i will see you guys next time thank you guys for watching bye